Hi guys, this is Fiverr. So in this video, we're going to go through how to import your own character into Path of Building and accurately measure your current DPS. I'm going to do this in several different segments. I'm going to start by going through my own Frostblades Raider, the original blueprint. I'm then going to import my own character. And after that, I'm just going to quickly go through another character just to get some different variables to look at. So let's start. I'll try to keep this fast and I'm going to add a timeline in the description and in the comments so you can skip back and forth if you want to do that. Let's start. The first thing you need to do when you're opening someone else's blueprint and you want to play a character is check the skill tree look if there are any important keystones that you need to be aware of check the ascendancy also in my case i'm playing raider i'm using avatar of the slaughter and avatar of the chase and i get bonuses from frenzy charges and onslaught from from those i don't really have any other important keystones that i'm using that are detrimental to the build also check what type of damage I am looking for or what type of items I am getting damage from and so on. You can also check at the bottom left here to see if there are uh, different skill trees. It's behind my webcam now so you can't see it but it's down there. Check the skill sec uh, section. First I suggest you check the, the main skill and you'll notice on my in my blueprint, in my path of building, I have two of the uh, support skills here deactivated. The reason I have multi-strike deactivated is because it doesn't work in path of building. I have a workaround for it and I'll get to that soon. The reason I have ancestral call deactivated is because I'm not using it when I'm fighting single targets like Shaper or Uber Elder or Elder and so on. Instead, I'm using Ruthless when I'm fighting those. I still have Ancestral Call here to show that it is in the setup, but not when I'm fighting single targets. Check the buffs that you're using or the person who has made the build is using. The uh, burst skills may be important, so don't negate those. Check the cast when damage taken setup if the build has one of those because it might also be very important. Don't skip out on any of the skill setups. Check what auras the person is using, so on. You'll see that in my blueprint, I have two dif uh, different options here. And these are differing options depending on whether or not you have an assassin's mark ring or not. This might look confusing. And if you find stuff that is confusing in someone's blueprint, then you should check the notes section because there might be something about it in here that explains it. You'll also see that I have a leveling setup down here and a bunch of skills that are from items that are not really important to have. They aren't skill setups. After you've gone through the skills, go through the items. You should look for different item setups uh, up here, but before you start importing your own character, First, you should make sure that there aren't any workarounds or you need to find workarounds if there are any. And you'll see on my boots, I have the multi-strike workaround. And like I said, this one is there because multi-strike doesn't work properly in path of building. So look for any weird texts on items like this. Sometimes it might be explanations for things and otherwise other times it's workarounds of some kind. After this, you should check the configuration page. You'll have a bunch of boxes ticked in here, and it's important that you tick those when you import your own character, depending on what boxes they are. In this case, I'm using Frenzy Charges. I have Onslaught. I have Rage. I have Aspect of the Cat. This box will only show up if you have an Aspect. Uh, there are other boxers that will show up like this may for, for banners, for instance, and blood and sand and flesh and stone, and so on. 
on the right side here I have enemy shield and I have shaper guardian selected this is because I only care about the DPS versus bigger targets like shaper or guardian and then always check the note section as I mentioned earlier now let's import my own character and properly measure the DPS of that one so you start by entering your account name select the league we're playing the character we're playing and then import it by clicking the passive tree and the items and skills and then done select the skill you want to measure the dps on which is frost blades in this case you might want to check the skill tree to see if there's any differing skills that you may have missed that differ from the original blueprint but check the skill tree or the skill section in this case since we know that i'm only using ancestral call when i'm clearing maps i need to change this one and most likely you will have your clearing setup activated in the skill setup so you need to change this one to ruthless or whatever other skill that you're using now this is how it works in the case of my frostblade trader obviously it will look different in other builds but you should be aware of any setups like that where you're swapping gems or so on make sure that you have the burst skills make sure you have the cast one damage taken set up make sure that you aren't missing any skills check the item se setup since we need to disable i didn't do that but i need to disable multi-strike since it's not working in path of building we also need to add the workaround so we have the workaround here before you add the workaround check your current boots and or current items i should say because you can add them on any item it doesn't have to be boots if you have any enchants or corruptions that need to be added as well so they are taken into account you'll see that i have increased attack and cast speed on mine i'm not going to bother with doing that right now but you apply it by doing this and check it the way you import your workaround is to just drag it in like this you can save items and you can save workarounds by dragging them from the item section here into this section and i suggest you do that when you're opening a blueprint of a path of building i suggest you save any workarounds on the right side here and you'll make it easy for yourself when you need to check your dps check all the flasks and at the bottom you'll see that there's an empty socket this is where i have my lethal pride lethal pride or any of the timeless jewels for that matter don't work in path of building and they aren't imported properly in path of building which means you have to make a workaround yourself the way you do this is you click craft item select a jewel doesn't matter which jewel we select let's go with prismatic jewel and click edit you then look at your skill tree in game your passive tree and count up all the bonuses you get from your lethal pride you add those bonuses here let's say i get 15 percent increase in the lee critical strike chance or so and then like obviously i want to add all of the bonuses on the lethal pride then you click save and add to build and then you add it in your jewel socket and if you want to make it easier for yourself to check the dps next time next time you import your character then you should drag this one in and use it as a shared item because that will make it easier for you and you don't have to type this in manually every time make sure that you're not using any different skill setup maybe you have magic find gear that you're using sometimes or i don't know maybe you're you're using different gear setups make sure you're using the one that you want to be measuring your dps at then head on to the configuration make sure to check the boxes that need to be ticked so we were using frenzy charges we were using onslaught rage enemy shield and shaper guardian if you can't remember which ones you are using save this one as a doesn't matter what you save it as save this build somewhere go back to the blueprint check which ones 
you're supposed to tick and then go back again. You don't, you're not gonna have anything in the notes section since you just imported your own character from it and had an empty path of building. Let's do this real quick with another character that I'm working on. I am using a ice shot dead eye and I have spent like between 30 minutes and an hour on this building total in path of building. So this one is by no means complete. But let's go through my current char character and the blueprint. So start with the blueprint. Shekti Deadeye or Shekti Ascension. Check the skill tree. Look for key, uh, keystones. Check, check the skill section. Make sure that if you have any alternative skill setups, you should make them the way they should be. You should make them to the one that you want to be measuring. So I don't have that in this case. I don't have any multi strike or anything like that. You should look for if if for any alternative setups like this when you're looking through a build. Check the items. Look for any workarounds. Check what flasks you're using, etc. If there's lethal prides or if there's any special items that you will need to manually edit later on and you might want to save them right away. Check the config, see if there's anything you need to be aware of in the configuration page. And make sure to keep these, remember these when you import your own character. Let's do that real quick. Port your account, Light League, and then import the character. So this character is only level 66. So I'm currently leveling this one. So right now when I import it, it says I have 30,000 uh, DPS per projectile. And we need to check the skill tree if there's anything I'm missing here. I'm not missing anything, but or well, I am missing things, but that's because I'm low level. Check the skill se section. What do I need to change? Did I have any multi-strike or did I have any alternative skill setup? No, I don't have any alternative skill setup. So there's nothing in the this setup that I need to change. However, I am currently using, let's see if I can find it. I'm currently using phase run with my immortal call. And I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier, but in some cases, a certain buffs and debuffs are not reliable to have uh, active versus targets like Shaper or Uber Elder because it's not a reliable way to debuff or buff yourself. So I should have face run deactivated but it doesn't really matter. Check the items. Do you have all the right items uh, imported? Did everything import correctly? Um, select your flasks. If you have lethal prides or anything, don't forget to add that when you're opening your own uh, character like this. Enter the configuration page because this one will be empty. I didn't use anything here. I had projectile travel distance activated. I had burning ignited shield, shaper guardian, and I had intimidated, I don't think I actually went through the config on the other one, but this is what it looked like. It also had intimidated, but that's because I used Doomfist on it. And this is basically it. It's not really that hard once you know what you should be looking for and what you should be doing. So I ended up at 60,000 DPS with my ice shot currently. I think that's all I have. and. If you need help with anything, if you want to hang out or if you have questions, then feel free to join me on my Twitch channel. Join my Discord channel. There's over 400 people in there or type on this YouTube channel or whatever. And I'll try to help you out as best that I can. I hope that you got any use of this video. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.